Here I am going to explain you the properties of normal distribution through an example and I am going to explain you the area covered under 1 sigma and 2 sigma and why it happens. In case of normal distribution, the mean median mode coincides. That is the first property and the second property is the distribution is symmetric. Let us understand it, what does it mean? Let us say somewhere the balls are getting produced with mean 100 unit and standard deviation 1 unit and the balls are following normal distribution. So, essentially what do we mean that if we see the frequency distribution of how many balls are between 98 to 99, 99 to 100, the the frequency will follow the normal distribution. Now, what do we mean by symmetric distribution? A symmetric distribution means like if you take the mean which is 100 and you go to standard deviation left side, whatever is the frequency, the same thing you expect when you go one standard deviation right side. When you go two standard deviation on the left side, say 100 minus two standard deviation 98, the distribution or the frequency should be same as when you go to distribution right side. So, whatever is the frequency that you are getting here, that is the same frequency that you are getting here. What frequency you are getting at 99, that is the same frequency you are getting at 101. So, that means the distribution is symmetric. The distribution around mean is very much same on the left side as well as on the right side. The next property, in case of a random variable which follows normal distribution, suppose if mean is mu and a standard deviation is sigma, then the area that lies between mu minus sigma to mu plus sigma is 68.27. What does it mean? Let us say the ball production is following the normal distribution with mean 100 and standard deviation 1, let us say mm. So, what does it mean? That if you take mu minus 1, essentially 100 minus 1, 99 mm to mu plus 1, 100 plus 1, 101 mm the area, the, the total population that will be lying between these two ranges will be 68.26. So, if we are producing 100,000 balls, 68.26 thousand balls will be follow, will be between 99 to 101 dimension. The left hand side which you are seeing with the pink color this is the area that is lower than the lower uh, area below lower limit. So, essentially it, it is giving you the population or the probability of obtaining value less than mu minus sigma. So, essentially the probability of obtaining balls with dimension less than 99 which is 100 minus 1 is 15.86 percent that you see here there is a color coding pink pink and the area above upper limit is again 15.6 because the curve the normal distribution is symmetric. Similarly, between minus 2 sigma to plus 2 sigma is 95.45. You can see these are the possibilities of obtaining value less than mu minus 2 sigma which is 98 and possibility of getting value more than equal to mu plus 2 sigma that is 102 or more is again 2.27 percent that is what is being shown by the red color and the area within limit between these two limit this is the area that is 95.45. Within 3 sigma it is 99.73. Now, slightly complicated case let us say if I am asking area between mu plus 1 sigma to mu plus 2 sigma. So, let us say the mean is 100 and standard deviation is 1. So, essentially I am talking of what is the area, what how many balls will be having dimension between 101 to 102. So, essentially mu plus 1 sigma to mu plus 2 sigma that the area that is being shown here by the blue color. This probability we can obtain actually if you see the area that is lying 2, two standard deviation on the both side is 95.45. And if you see stand area lying between one standard deviation on the both side, it is 68.27. So, essentially if people are asking how many, what is the probability of obtaining value between 99 to 98, 98 to 99 and 101 to 102, the, the total probability will be 95.45 minus 68.27. Now, 
because we are interested just in one side it will be half the area because both sides are symmetric that's why we are getting this kind of value now note that the pro that we can get this way or you, we can get this using excel formula called norm dist n o r m d i s t and you can check the help line in excel that's it thanks for your time